This is the Republic of Palau. Located east of the Philippines with an exclusive economic zone the size of France. Its waters are rich in tuna species and were declared a national marine sanctuary in 2015. These waters have been monitored since 1996 by a Palauan patrol boat funded by the Australian Royal Navy. Its job to apprehend illegal fishing vessels. In this time, it has had many successes. However, due to the vast size of the EEZ, a more efficient way to patrol was needed. In 2016, Pacific Mission Aviation was contracted by the Australian Royal Navy to commence aerial surveillance. Due to its success, an MOU was signed with the Republic of Palau as part of Palau's monitoring, control and surveillance plan. The aircraft chosen, a twin-engine Queen Air, has good range. Enough to fly all the way to the farthest reaches of Palau ZEZ and patrol there for over three hours. Searching out here in the east side of the Palau EEZ, we had we went straight for the border and followed the went parallel along the border to the south, and then we're doing uh, 10 mile spacing so that we can see about five miles on either side. Um, we're conducting a parallel search, which leads us back towards. Uh, at least closer towards Karar. So we'll be doing this until we uh, reach our limit fuel-wise and then we'll head home. When we're done, we're, uh, we've covered a, about a 60 mile by 60 mile uh, square quadrant. Typically there's a lot of uh, fads along the edge of the border, so we're, we're trying to cover that area. Uh, the boats like to come in and put their their uh, bads right next to the boundary line. Our day before yesterday, we were down in the southern corner here. Uh, did a similar search where we about four or five hours of searching, we found 16 bads in that whole quadrant. So that was uh, that's a area they like to come to often for fishing. Previous days, we we uh, searched, been searching different quadrants around the, the boundary of the EEZ. Uh, each day, we could do about a 60 mile by 60 mile quadrant, and uh, depending on uh, how we get set up, we might do an expanding square type search. Uh, oftentimes, when we're working with the patrol boat, we have a rendezvous point where we meet the patrol boat about 40 miles from the quadrant, what we'll fly to the patrol boat and then head at, go ahead of them by 40 miles. We do our search and then if we spot anybody during that time, uh, they are within three, two or three hours of getting the vessel. Pretty, uh, pretty successful method of uh, finding uh, the vessels if they're out here. Sometimes it's, uh, we find quite a few, a few. sometimes it's completely empty. You just never know what, how, uh, how, what's out there. The other day we were here at, uh, we flew over the island of Marir. There was a Filipino banca parked on the side of the reef and uh, we were up high so we decided to come get him on the way back. On the way back we, uh, he was no longer there so we, we predicted that he would be within 20 miles of the island and sure enough on our circuit, we, we uh, found him. Then we also have a photographer on board so that they can take snapshots, which is something we can use in court and uh, bust them or keep track of who was there, caught, who was in our waters. 
the aerial surveillance missions continue and show tremendous promise in stopping illegal fishing in Palau's territorial waters. Evidence gained through the aerial photography and the boarding of suspected vessels by Palau's marine law enforcement officers leads to fines and convictions, helping establish the marine sanctuary for Palau into the future.